Robbie Williams. Robbie, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Feliz tarde. Um, I am pretty well. I've been a lot worse. Okay. Um, my family are rocking. My kids are all healthy and vibrant and full of life. Glad of hearing yeah, uh, that. Fantastic. Let me start remembering a date, a very day, a special date for you, I think. 1997, March the 7th. Do you remember that day? A new Robbie Williams woke up in the morning. I went into the studio for recording the first track of your first album. Do you remember that day, that feelings? Um, no, because I was very drunk at the time. <laughs> um, I was very high, very drunk. Oh, yeah. I was living a 1990s existence. And I would say that the 1990s were a, was a very good year. Yeah. <laughs> Not years, year. It all blended into one day, really. Yeah. The Britpop was uh, all over the world. Yeah. And what is it or difficult for you to, to find your own style of music as a solo artist out of a take that sound? Um, not really, because I knew what I liked and I knew what I wanted to aspire to. Um, I, I, at, the, at that particular moment, I loved guitar music and oh, yeah. you know, I wanted to write songs with guitars in them. So I did. Yeah, okay. And now, 25. This big album is fantastic, I hear the album, and it's incredible. I think it's just not a, a simple uh, compilation album. It's more than that. It's m more special. It sounds less like a movie soundtrack or something with that orchestra, wonderful Metropole Orchestra, it seems to be. You have put a lot of love here, I think, in this project. I mean, what is this idea of adding your voice to an orchestra? Tell us about that experience. Um, well... I think that once you add the majesty and the talent of these incredible musicians to a body of pop work, it can only elevate it. And it has, um, you know, there are frequencies that exist within an orchestra that are angelic and godlike. Yeah. And, um, You know, it, it's really helped to make my songs feel important. Yeah. Now, um, we're going to talk about something very special, the songs. The most important of these records are the songs. 29 songs in this record, and the standard version just 19. But we have going to, to make a, a little selection of this song because we have, we have no time for speaking or talking about every song. The first one, the first track, Let Me Entertain You. This is special for you because you always open your live shows <coughs> with this song. It, it, for me, where does that theatrical point come from? That um, theatrical comedian point, do you have that point? I, um, I tried, I've tried to put that song in other places in the show and it doesn't work. Oh. Um, it has to be at the beginning and... It's it's like a call to arms. It's perfect for me and it's perfect for the audience for it to be there. It's it it says what is about to happen. Um but that I think the theatrics and the performance that um I've acquired and that I do was out of necessity because I didn't think I could really sing. So I thought that If I do all of these big shapes and pull these faces and turn my eyes on and try to be charismatic, maybe they won't notice that I can't sing. Um, I've got better at singing, thankfully. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's a it's it. The theatrics comes from a necessity to fill a space. Oh yeah. Um, because at the end of the day, no one's really bothered about listening to a good singer not on a grand scale people want to see a spectacle oh, yeah. they want to see a performance yeah they're not really bothered about hearing a voice yeah. and if they are bothered about hearing a voice the audience isn't very big yeah well and now your first number one embracing a solo artist from the album i've been expecting you as far as i know it was uh, it was not one of your favorite songs 
that moment, I mean, in 98, but Millennium worked like a rocket. Your first number one. What do you feel right now about this song, right now? Um, I hit a purple patch of relevancy and um, I was lucky enough to have a moment in time that I cottoned onto and hooked onto. The millennium was a big buzzword at the time. Yeah. And I co-opted that word and threw it into a song and it seemed to work. Yeah. You know, people always ask me, you know, which which song of mine do I not like? And then, you know, a lot of the time, Millennium yep. completely bores me. <laughs> and then I say Millennium and then people go, why? Why yeah, Millennium? It sounds and great. Like, well, yeah. Well, you know, if I'd have mentioned other songs, would they have agreed with me and gone, yeah, that one's shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we can... agree, that one's shit. Yes. We, here comes one of my favorite songs of the album and my favorite of your songs, Feel from Scapology 2002. You sang it from the deep of your heart because, Robbie, the song we heard on Kiss FM, on your album Scapology, it is the demo, right? You didn't want to sing it again in the studio. I have read that. Um, uh, no, actually. I don't know. Is, is that true? I don't know. Uh, what happened was... Um, I tried to sing it again and the vocal just wasn't good enough. Oh. So we used the demo vocal and um, yeah, so it's kind of true. Yeah, but I think it's one of the best songs in the album and, and in the tour. It, it must be fantastic. We are, we are going to uh, change completely different thing. Rock DJ from the scene where you're winning 2000. I'm thinking of the video or some very funny, provocative is provocation important to you? Is that you? That provocative point is part of you or just a part of the play of the performance? Is you that? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm from an era where provoca, provoca, is it tation or provocation? Provo provocation could be. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. Provocation. <laughs> it, sorry. And you're Spanish and I don't even know. Provocation yeah. was, um, applauded and lauded yeah. and it was fun yeah. and it made you think and it annoyed you and it pissed you off and all of these things and you know i'm one of those people that if it says don't press this button i will press that button yeah it's just part of my makeup yeah um i like to provoke and i like controversy and uh rock dj was a good version of uh, provocation. Yes, an award uh, uh, <clears throat> video clip because uh, TV and TV words, uh, Brits awards as well was incredible. There are some new songs in this album. All of them for me are hits, incredible. Why have to choose a lost at the first single? Why this song is so important? Uh, uh, because you never really know <clears throat> out of all the songs that you write which is going to be the most successful, hmm. which is going to touch a chord with people, which is going to be appealing to the ear, and which one radio stations are going to play. Um, you just have to guess. Now, I guessed, and we guessed, that Lost would do well. And um, so far, so good. Radio stations are playing it. Yeah, People are sending me nice emails about it. It seems that this one is, you know, being a successful song. But for you, it, it was the favorite for the first single, for you. Um, I yeah. Mean, I mean, it's a very, it's, it's a very uh, sad words, sad sad lyric in the, in the lyric. Lost. Yeah, I, I, I also think that, yeah, but it's it's not how I feel. It's, it's, what, it, it, it's what happened to me at okay. some point. Okay. Um, but not now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that, you know, the things that, I would choose to be singles would mean that I wouldn't have a very long career. So I I have to choose the ones that I think will go down the best. Yeah. And to the end of this little review, I go with the one that thrills the most, I think, the best of the album. I don't know if it's for you too. Angels. Exciting. And now with that orchestra is 
I don't know, I have no words. Uh, Robin, tell us something about the inspiration for creating and singing this song, Angels. How was it born? Um, angels was born out of a belief in angels, you know, and a or a want for angels to exist. I needed, I don't know, something outside of this earth to protect me. And it felt good to believe in Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel. Um, so the song is an ode to these mythical creatures that may or may not exist. So how much have those angels helped you in your life? I'm still alive. So, you know, and I, I've tested the angels oh, yeah. on many occasions. Hmm. I'm still here. So... <laughs> I'm grateful. <laughs> yes. From this point of view, as a, from this point of your life, now in the present, okay, if you could send some words, some pieces of advice that young, that young uh, uh, 16 year old Robbie Williams who attended an audition, you remember, what would you say to that young Robbie Williams? Uh, dream bigger, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you, yeah, bigger. the, 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 um, because even though, I would have thought what I was attempting to do was impossible. I didn't dream big enough. Mm -hmm. Very good piece of advice. This ninth, the record 25 on sale, one month after October 9th, the tour across UK and Ireland. But a lot of people here at Spain are wondering, is there going to be a second part across Europe or perhaps Spain? Absolutely. I'll be, coming down. I'll be coming down next year, but um, when, I don't know, but it's it's next year at some point. Oh, my God. That's a very good news for us, for the people who wants to, to, to see you here at Spain. Oh, good news. Good news. Thank you. Thank you. Well, how are you going, uh, how is it going to be the show? Because all the people are uh, wondering, uh, include the orchestra. You are going to travel with all the orchestra, whatever you want. In the, in the no, show. Orchest no, orchestras are too expensive. Ah, yeah. <laughs> But I, I shall make sure that whatever it is, is entertaining. Yeah, I know. If you are there, it's going to be entertaining. Thank <laughs> you. It's my, it's my Tot job. Totally, I know. Well, the fact you are going to run this tour, um, you have to, do you have any habits, re uh, rehearsal, manias in your tour when you, when you travel? <laughs> <coughs> For example, I, I know you you love chocolates and candies and whatever. <laughs> When yeah, you come to Spain, do you want to uh, Spanish ham or, or uh, Spanish omelets? You know, Spanish yeah, cooking. Oh, Spanish omelets. Yeah. Now, I used to eat Spanish omelets <laughs> thinking yeah. that they were really healthy yeah. and they couldn't make me fat. Yeah. Now I know what's in a Spanish omelet. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I'm... Uh, I had some, I, I was in Ibiza mm. two weeks ago and I had Spanish omelette and it just tasted so good. I know, perfectly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you are invited to, to the Spanish omelette here in Spain when you can. Well, the, the last question, I know of four very young fans of yours who follow you and will follow you for the rest of your life because Robbie Williams, what has been more difficult? Selling more than 80 million records or being a father? Um, I would say selling 80 million records is more difficult than <laughs> being a father. Oh, yeah. Because being a father has been way more rewarding than anything that I've done in my career. Oh, yeah. Um, so it is... The, 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 the difficult thing I find is the guilt at not being able to achieve the perfection that I want to achieve as a father. You know, that's there's always going to be some sort of guilt that you're not doing enough. Oh, my God. Well, congratulations, Robbie, for being a happy father. Congratulations for uh, selling 80 million <laughs> records. Congratulations for 25, that great big album we're going to enjoy from ninth uh, on. And we're waiting for you here at Kiss FM. Eh? This is your home. Come whenever you want. Gracias, amigo. Thank you very much for having me. You are, uh, we're going to, uh, to cook uh, some Spanish omelets for you when you can. Oh, please. Okay. And thank you for this interview and thank you for everything and for your music as well. Robbie, bye-bye. Good luck with your new record.
Thank you. God bless you. Lo mejor de los 80 y los 90 hasta hoy. Esto es Kiss.